News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a former working girl is now working on her thesis. An addiction counselor talks about the increase in drug use. We introduce you to an up-and-coming local band. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Courtney Salmon. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. I'm Courtney Solman for News 46. Beatty residents voiced their opinions about not being made aware of the potential threat that a fire could have caused Sunday afternoon at the U.S. Ecology Low-Level Nuclear Waste Storage Facility. All tests for air and ground have come up with negative results. Leading the town hall meetings were Nye County Sheriff Sharon Worley and Nye County Emergency Manager Vance Payne, who apologized multiple times for the break in communication. The U.S. Ecology site has served as a dump for low-level radioactive waste and other hazardous materials since the early 1960s, and for years that meant just digging a trench and dumping the waste there. The two leading contenders for the Democratic presidential nomination won't have to face off against the formidable and always unpredictable Vice President Joe Biden, who announced this afternoon that he won't make a late entrance into the Democratic race. Now it's former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders alone in the party's top tier of the 2016 candidates. Back to the Future Day has finally arrived. In Back to the Future Part 2, Marty McFly travels to October 21, 2015 to save his children yet to be born in Back to the Future's 1985. The plot gets tangled. By fixing one thing, McFly and Doc Brown and the villainous Biff Tannen creates a number of new messes. The movie was shot and released in 1989. The entire trilogy is even being released today so you can see and compare the predictions for yourself. A member of the Tombstone Vigilantes Gunfight Reenactment Group accidentally shot another member of the Vigilantes Sunday afternoon during the Hell Dorado Days event. One of the Vigilantes arrived late and did not have his gun properly inspected. He then accidentally shot another member of the Vigilantes. The man was shot in the upper groin area sometime around 2 p.m. and had to be airlifted to the hospital. He is recovering. A female was grazed with a bullet and is fine. Cochise County Sheriff's Office is classifying this as an aggravated assault based on the recklessness and serious injury involved. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service today closed the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge as a safety precaution. Recent rains left many of the roads in nearly impassable condition due to washouts and debris. According to Ash Meadows, there is substantial damage to the roads traversing the wildlife refuge. We strongly discourage drivers from taking these routes. Anyone attempting to drive on the refuge does not does so at their own risk. And we'll be right back with more from News 46.